Today we're going to be using a new tool called EarSketch. It allows you to turn Python code into music using a variety of libraries that the EarSketch team has put together. Now today we're going to be learning how to use the fit media function, which is the main function you're going to be using if you want to make music. So let's get started. I'm going to introduce you to the parts of the fit media function. The first part is the fit media. It's F-I-T and then capital M, no spaces, E-D-I-A. So fit media um, is written in a thing called camel case. Okay, camel case is when you don't capitalize the first letter, and you leave no spaces between words. So like, if I write, this is camel case, do you see how I haven't capitalized the first uh, words let first letter, letter, but I have capitalized the first letter in every word after that. So it says, this is camel case. Now, once I type fit media, I'm going to open a parenthesis, and you can pick from a variety of different musics um, over here in the music library or the sound browser. The sound browser can be found by clicking on the music note in the top left-hand corner. It says sound when you scroll over it. Right now, I'm going to kind of scroll through here, and I'm going to pick this 8-bit Atari Lead 001. You can pick whatever you want, but I'm going to pick that. If I put my mouse, my mouse right after the open parenthesis and I hit this little clipboard button after the play button, it'll paste right into my code. So the screen button, you can press that and you can listen to the sound bit. And this button allows you to paste it into your code wherever you have placed your cursor. So like if I leave my cursor up here, and I'll try to paste something in here, it's not going to paste into any code that can be used um, to make music. So make sure that you have that you position your cursor right after that parenthesis. Now, after that, we've chosen our music, and I'm going to put a comma, space, two. Now, in our example, our first example, comma, space, one is the first number. Now, this number is really important because it tells you what line your music is going to be on. So, as you can see up here in the top, this says 1, and this is where my first bit of music is, because it is on line 1. This is telling the second piece of music to be on line 2. This is really important because if you try to put two different types of music on the same line, it will cause an error in your code. Now. After we picked what line we want it to be on, I'm going to put a comma, space, and then I'm going to put another one. This is telling our music when to start. Now, you can tell your music to start at any point. So if I wanted to maybe have an opening effect and then bring in all my music after that, I would maybe start it at measure three or four because the music that we're using is measured in measures. So there's measure 1, measure 2, measure 3, measure 4, measure 5, measure 6, measure 7, and so on and so on. But I'm going to start my music at measure 1. So I'm going to put comma, space, and then I'm going to put 16. Okay? So 16 is telling our music when to stop. Okay? So at the 16th measure, it's going to stop. Now, I'm going to click on the run button, which is over in the side uh, on the right hand in the middle. Uh, you can't see it here, but I'm going to hit the run button. It's green, and it's in the middle of the right hand side of the screen. So I hit run. It's loading. And look, both of my sounds have appeared in my uh, digital audio workstation. And if I press play, which we scroll down a little bit, if I press play over on the right hand side of the screen, it'll play my sounds. Try this for yourself, and if you're having any issues, comment below.